Hey guys, this time just want to share you another cool program and it's called uh, 7-Zip. The idea behind this is from one of my viewers who had sent me this message. So it says here, from Funky Hippie 101 Suggestion, can you make a video on how to use WinRAR? It would help me and others. Well, I'm not going to show you how to use WinRAR. I'm going to show you how to use 7-Zip instead. Well, it's a file art archiver with a high compression ratio and it's pretty much like WinRAR and WinZip except that it's for free. So it's an open source software and these are the main features. So it can pack and unpack formats with um, 7Z, Zip, GZip, BZip2, and TAR. And it can also unpack those with ARJ, CAB, CHM, DEB, ISO, blah 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 blah, and RAR files or formats. So I think that's pretty cool. And um, I'm just going to show you how to use 7-Zip. It's also a cross-platform program, so it can be used in Windows as well as in uh, Linux. So that's pretty cool. So those files that are supported in Linux can be unzipped or unpacked using 7-Zip. Anyway, I'm just going to show you how to compress some files. So let's say I have here a Word document a PowerPoint presentation, a media file, an Excel file, and a text document. So all you need to do is highlight them all, right click. When you're using WinZip and WinRAR, it works um, just as the same. So all you need to do is highlight your files, right click, go to the option, in this case 7-Zip, and then you can add to desktop.7z or add to desktop.zip. You can also use .rar if you're using WinRAR, but in our case, we can only unpack RAR files, but we can pack those files in .zip format. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, the procedure is pretty much the same, so. Voila, here is our package, and it's desktop.zip. So we have a zip folder here. And if you want to unzip this, all you need to do is double click and then 7z will automatically open the file for you or open the folder for you and you can access your files. So let's say you downloaded .rar or .zip files or any other formats that are well mentioned in the site. All you need to do is double click whatever it is that you downloaded and voila you can access your files that simple so anyway I'm just going to open this one to show you how much space it was um, saved or how much size it, it was um, compressed into so as you can see here the sample dot doc is 10 kilobytes the PowerPoint is 12 kilobytes the sample Excel file is 11 kilobytes so all in all we have here roughly around uh, 40 kilobytes with these uh, files so okay so we have this folder now and our files are now reduced or compressed and to check it we right click and go to properties so as you had seen we have almost or roughly around 40 kilobytes of disk space so we had saved it because now it's roughly well it's 5.69 kilobytes or 8.0 kilobytes size on disk as compared to 40 plus kilobytes a while ago so we had compressed this if you want to send this through mail you can already do that using this particular format so there you go so I'm just going to extract this to my desktop to show you guys. So all you need to do is highlight your files. You can also delete if you want to, copy, move, add more files to your folder, and then of course extract it. So in my case, I'm going to copy it to my desktop. I'm going to name it desk, hit OK, 
and here is our folder so if you open this folder our files are now that accessible so there you go so that's just how you can use 7z to unzip or zip your files so there you go so that is 7zip or 7z and it's an excellent substitute for winzip and winrar the very fact that it's for free and it can do what those two programs well can give you so that i think that's pretty cool and again thanks to funky hippie 101 for the suggestion more videos to come to all my subscribers i appreciate the sub guys if you have any question at all about my videos or other things related just message me here on youtube and i'll get to them as soon as i can so thanks for watching this video. Check out my YouTube partners. They're on my channel. As always, just have fun. See ya.